Mark Croce and his business partner James Egan purchased the historic hotel for $200,000 plus $500,000 in back taxes back in September. They were granted a 60-day review period before the deal is finalized. That ends Monday. The building is in need of obvious repairs for both cosmetic and safety reasons. Mark Croce is willing to put forth three to four million dollars to stabilize the first two floors. Let the building save itself. Let the revenue generated instead of instead of taking it out in profit, putting it back into the building, using it using the cash flow and the profit from the business and the you know, the opportunities that were existing here before they shut the lights off. You know, reactivate that again and take that money and pump it and pour it back into the building like we have so many other times before. Croce and his attorney say taxpayers can either put forth $5.2 million for repairs now or face paying $20 million for the building's demolition. The city is now protecting the public from this building already on their dime. We're not asking them to reach in and, and create new money. We're saying, look it, don't take the money that's going to have to be found some way, somehow to demolish this building. Take a third of that money or less and help us save the building. That's all we're asking for. Mayor Byron Brown says he needs more information before he's willing to provide that money to the Statler. Without a comprehensive development plan, we don't feel it is appropriate uh, to provide taxpayer dollars. Mayor Brown says the federal government could provide $3 million for a parking ramp near the Statler and the city could use state funding to help support the Statler.